Hey guys, so this is a hair update. What I've learned about my hair in 2010 and um, goals for 2011 since it is the end of the year and my camera's shaking. Sorry. Okay, so um, hair update. As you can see, I put my hair into um, some kinky twists and I used Naffy Puffy. Naffy Collection um, Afro Puffy here, um, and I'll try to put the seller that I got it from in the box. I actually found the seller via um, Naturally Curl, sorry, Curl Talk um, forum. So yeah, but it worked out good. Um, the hair is very thin, not thin, but it is very. Um, I guess thin is the right word. It doesn't make nice juicy twist so um, if you're going for a thinner hair look hopefully you can see them if you're going for a thinner hair look um, then this is the hair for you um, I they're okay um, I did cut the hair in half or whatever so the hair is pretty short um, and that's okay I mean it'll do for the little bit um, I'm trying to keep these in for at least a month, um, hopefully six weeks, um, is really what I'm leaning towards. But we know how that goes with me, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, next subject. Um, what I learned about my hair in 2010. So what I learned about my hair in 2010 is my hair is very porous, therefore it needs a lot of moisture. And moisture is water, people. If I hear one more person talking about oil is a moisturizer, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throw a book at them. But a good book, like Ultra Black Hair Growth or Grow It or Thank God I'm Natural. A good book. But I'm still throw a book at them. So um, yeah, my hair is very thirsty. She's a drinker. Um, she's always drinking. So I have to make sure that um, she gets her her drink or else, yeah, it's not going to be pretty. She's going to be hard and nasty and rough and just not a good look. Um, my hair, uh, it, it likes oils more so than butters and it hates shea butter. Um, I find that products that are heavily, heavily shea, whether it be a... Um, unrefined um, shea butter just whipped shea butter with like a coconut oil or something or um, things like the um, curly enhancing smoothie which is heavily shea things of that nature um, my hair just does not care for for some reason shea shea butter just does nothing for my hair yeah it seals but it like makes my hair all ugh. I guess that's a good word for it just makes it ugh. Or whatever but my hair loves 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 mango butter um, it likes coffee butter um, it likes hemp seed butter so there's other butters that my hair loves kubachu butter so there's other hair there's other butters that my hair loves but just shea butter um, I don't know what it is about shea it's something in the shea that my hair just doesn't care for um what else um let me see. Uh, my hair is prone to single strand knots. Um, so I have to make sure that I, I keep up on my um, I keep up on my trimming, which I, I've only done one trim and I did that around um, two one trim trim to get the rest of my perm perm dance off and I did that around month two or three. Um, but you know if I feel a single strand knot, um, I'll cut it out. <laughs> It is so sad. But like, well, as I was doing this twist and I was going through each section, if I felt a knot, I just cut it out. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not afraid to cut when I think it needs to be cut. Now, I don't cut a lot. I just cut the knot out. So, um, yeah. But my hair is really prone to it, especially right here, which is um, my coarser or um, kinkier section right here on the crown. And then right here right here this patch right here 
for some reason this hair and this hair is the exact same but they're like a world away from each other which I just I don't understand and then I have another patch right in here that's very um very kinky um that likes to give me issues when it comes to um detangling and single strand knots and that kind of stuff so i just have to really be on top of it and um look f look out for it and you know keep my hair moisturized um i found the easiest way to keep my hair moisturized is um using a uh of course a water-based moisturizer but a lot of times i'll get like a curl and style milk um, from shea moisture or a um direct leave-in from Giovanni's or just a regular leave-in and I'll actually just water it down put it in a spray bottle and just use that to spray on my hair um, you get added added water or aloe juice whatever I'm putting in my spray bottle for that week and it's just easier that way especially if I'm rocking like twists or something to where I can actually get each strand or each twist wet with um, the water and just go through and seal with um, oil or whatever um products that I that I've loved for 2010. Um y'all know my love affair with Oyen. Um the honey hemp, which is just an amazing conditioner. Um the new hairdo, which is awesome. I have to do a review on that also. Um the burnt sugar pomade, which I did my last set of twists with. Um I think I did a bit the video with Jesse in it. Those twists, I did those twists with um, the brown sugar pomade. Um, so love those products. Um, my shampoo bar from Bow Beam um, Naturals, um, the Shea Aloe shampoo bar, the Mozique Avocado Cleansing Cream, um, the Jessie Curl Weekly Deep Conditioner that I need to buy a gallon of as soon as I get out of these um, twists because I have finished my jar. No, that's okay. I'll be okay. Um, henna. I've fallen in love with henna. My hair really responds well to henna. Even though it doesn't give me the kind of color payoff that I want to because my hair is so black. Um, just the, um, the, it, for, it's, it's strengthened my hair and it's made it softer for some reason. And it's just, it's weird to say that because you think of strong as being hard, you know, like a protein treatment, but my hair is like super soft now after doing henna and um yeah so um what else is my hair like i think that's that's basically the products that my hair is like crazy over the mosaic um moisturizing hair mask the deep conditioner from her um yeah oh i want a giveaway um marie dean had a giveaway for um some baby throw me that throw me that giveaway uh, thing a uh, marie dean products hair products hair and bath and body products i don't know what their their name is but they um sent me i won a contest or a giveaway with them all i had to do was say what my favorite christmas carol was and i did which is jingle bell rock jingle bell jingle bell jingle bell rock you know that song so um yeah i won like 50 something dollars worth of products from them which doesn't say much because their products are like four ounces for like twelve dollars which is ridiculous so i'm happy i won because i would have never bought it because that price point is nothing to be played with so um as soon as jesse stops playing his game he'll get me the samples or whatever ah uh, here they are so came in this little bag and i won the um coconut apricot cream conditioner my camera's shaking sorry um the mango hair detangler um The coconut and lime repair mask, the um, three-in-one mango elipi, 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 mango conditioner, and um, two ounces of their strawberry yogurt hair smoothie. So should be interesting. A lot. These are very butter-based products. They don't seem to have a lot of conditioning. Um, conditioning. Uh, properties in them um and they all have vegetable e-wax in it so we'll see how that works out on my hair my hair really doesn't usually care for emulsifying wax but we'll see um okay so resolutions for 2011 
um, I'm, all, I'm all about growing my hair. I want my hair to grow, 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 grow. Um, I'm actually going back into um, my books, my um, Grow It book from Shikaro. Um, and really going into it and studying it more so because I read it when I was transitioning. And yeah, I, I remember some of the stuff, but um, really going into it and really um, trying to um, get as much as I can out of it. Um, I guess once my hair starts getting longer, I'll be doing everything in sections, but we'll see when my hair can actually section easily um, and like get into a braid easily because um, it is so short. Um, let me see, goal for June is to have my hair to my nose. My hair is at my eyebrows now, so to my nose um, for my one year would be awesome. That would be just ridiculously awesome. Um, I don't know if that's six inches for a year of growth, but um, I don't know. It might be because I got a big head. My head is long, so shut up, Jesse. So, uh, yeah, and I want to have it to my chin by the end of um, 2011. So, that's my hair goal. I want my hair to be um, strong and healthy, and I'm going to keep um, doing what I do, doing what I'm doing. My current regiment, um, well, my braid regiment now, I'll co-wash twice a week, and or I'll co-wash once during the week, and I'll wash once a week with like shampoo or whatever and that that'll that uh, blah, 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 blah. that conditioner will be a deep condition for my braids or whatever and then once I'm out of braids I'll do the same thing um, wash once a week might co-wash during the week might not depending on whatever style I'm rocking um, and then I DC once or twice a week depending on how my hair is feeling and how my hair needs it um, a henna twice a month, um, and I might do like an Alma treatment in between those times. Um, and yeah, I just w I want to get more into Urvake um, hair treatments. Um, I want to try out um, Brahami and Shikakai, Shikiki, whatever the hell it's called. Um, and um, yeah, I just want to grow with my hair and get to know it better. Everybody has names for their hair. I can't think of what to call my hair. All I can think of is calling it frizzy mess, but that's not nice and I don't think it'll like that, so I'm not going to do that. But um, yeah, just having my hair grow to its fullest potential. My um, my goal length, my short term, short term goal length is bra strap length, bra strap length stretched I'm thinking by two, two years, two and a half years, I should be there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think that works out to the right amount of time. I don't know. My hair grows average rate, I would think, um, just judging from my pictures. Oh, and I'm going to try to keep um, protective styles in my hair. We'll see how this goes, um, this set of Kinky Twist, and if it goes um, for a month or six weeks. Um, I'll take my hair out for a couple weeks and then I'll put some kinky twists back in because it seems like those are the only things that are working for me. So yeah, um, hair update, what I've learned, and my goals. Um, if y'all have goals or just what you've learned in 2010, please do a response video, you know, attach it to this one. And, you know, we can encourage each other as we go into the new year, helping each other, you know, reach our goals. Alright guys, so I will talk to y'all later. And if I don't see y'all before the new year, happy new year. And I hope everybody is safe on New Year's Eve. Please don't drink and drive and don't smoke stuff and all that good stuff. Alright guys, I'll, don't smoke stuff. Alright guys, I'll, alright guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.